Hello, this is Bob Siegel with Robert Siegel CPAs. The following presentations were made at the annual conference of the North Carolina Local Government Budget Officers Association on July 10, 2013. In this segment, the question is, do you have a consolidated cost per copy contract? Consolidated cost per copy. And I'd like to say that I borrowed this idea from Karen Mills, the finance officer for the city of Cary, um, who I understand is looking for a budget officer, by the way. Um, but Karen came to a um, finance officer's meeting maybe 15 years ago and told us about this idea, and we've probably done it 20 times for various places. If you could help me with a, a question. Do you guys lease copiers and then sign a maintenance contract? Or do you have a contract that you just pay so many pennies for every copy you actually make? So how many here do the lease maintenance thing? And how many here do the cost per copy thing? Um, every time we've done it, we pretty much have cut someone's cost in half. So, another true life story, um, we're at a city, we're looking through paid bills, we find 32 lease payments every month, 32 copiers, we find 32 annual maintenance contracts, and the annual maintenance contract is um, $1,000, includes 100,000 copies, penny a copy, sounds pretty good. But when we add up all the costs and divide by the number of copies, it comes out to four cents per copy. All of our other bids have been about two cents a copy. That's kind of like the unofficial rule of thumb. So we go to the finance officer and say, hey, finance officer, we think there's an opportunity here. And she said, Bob, I don't believe you. Why? Well, those are state contract copiers. We buy them off the website, and sure enough, they were. Every one of them, the lease payment was state contract, the maintenance contract was state contract. She said, I can't believe you're going to cut state contract price in half. And I said, well, let's think about this for a second. You buy a $1,000 maintenance contract for 100,000 copies, it's a penny a copy, sounds good. But what happens when your copy machine only makes 25,000 copies? Then you're really paid four cents a copy, plus the lease on top of that. And only three of your 32 copiers made it to the 100,000 number. The other 29 didn't even come close to the 100,000. So she said, okay, put it out to bid, but make sure you put the, uh, we can reject any and all proposals and Proposals came in, we looked at them, and it didn't come out two cents. It did come out 1.98 cents. It was awfully close. And so, new company comes in, it's a five-year contract. They've got to wait for all those old leases to roll off during that five-year period. So a lot of the copies they installed were only there for six months, 12 months, a year, a year and a half, two years. But at the end of the five years, all 32 copy machines came due on the same day. At that time, the new vendor, or who, when they put it out to bid five years from now, would be bidding on a substantially larger number of copies. Did that make any sense? Oh, one, one thing she also said was, um, if you're on a cost per copy deal, what, how's that going to affect service? You know, if it's broke, who's going to get better service? The guy on a cost per copy contract or a guy on a, a maintenance contract? And all of our clients have told us the cost per copy gets better service than a maintenance contract because you've got to think about that for a second. If it's not making any copies, the copy machine people aren't getting paid. They show up first when they know the machine is down. So that's another good reason to look at it. 
Um, the finance officer still shakes her head every time she sees me and says, I still don't think about it from a state point of view. Does the state use state contract to buy their copiers or lease their copiers and do a maintenance contract? I said, as far as I know, I mean, it's out there on state contract. You can pull it up on the web. And she said, just think what kind of savings that would be for the state of North Carolina if they actually did the consolidated cost per copy. They had 32 leases, 32 maintenance contracts. There's no purchasing power there. You need to lump your purchasing power all together, put it under one contract, no, no minimum 5 million copies or whatever. Um, we've done this for school projects, schools. I find this a frightening statistic, but a school will average 2,500 copies per student per year. Less in the high schools, more in the elementary schools. All you people with little kids, they come home with a whole handful of papers, kindergarten, first, second, third grade, um, 2,500 copies per student. Take a 10,000 school district, 2,500 copies is 25 million copies a year. A penny would be $250,000 a year. Half a penny savings would be 125000 Look at someone like Guilford County with 70,000 students, and a half a penny savings would be $850,000 a year. I don't know about you, but 850 is usually a big number for people. So you might want to ask your school districts, do you have a cost per copy contract? Have you put it out to bid lately? You know, if you have a reasonable number of copy machines in your unit, you might want to think about it. Frequently I've found police departments got one copier company, health departments got another contract, finances got a third, and you have all these varieties of vendors, you're not using your consolidated purchasing power. Just a thought, you might want to try something like that. Any questions about consolidated costs per copy? But just for the lease or for the maintenance? Uh, it was lease and maintenance together. But however, all the city copiers were under a couple contracts, and then one of the police ones was a separate. Mm. I, I would look at trying to get them down to a two cents a copy or something like that for only the ones you make. You, the ones we've seen where lease and maintenance are all rolled into one number. It's again, this contract includes 100,000 copies a month or 200,000. And I think it did have a, that so many per year. Just so much is free, but some probably don't even get to that. And they make it difficult for you to figure out how many copies you're making if you don't have a cost per copy contract. But typically on the back of your copy machine, there's a little maintenance book. Every time the maintenance man comes to fix the machine, he's supposed to write the date and the a, a meter reading. There's an actually a cumulative meter inside the copier. So you just got to take two dates and extrapolate how many copies it made in a year. But that, that's how we typically find how many copies. So, you know, take all your dollars, divide by the number of copies, see what it comes up to. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you have found this and our other videos to be helpful and informative.